Hello party people, Marina with you here today and we're gonna be talking about the move that everybody wants to have in their box of tricks, the bird of paradise, demystifying the bird of paradise because I know how to clickbait really well. Let's start with a quick warm up, I usually do a couple of jumping jacks. I wave my hands around just to warm them up a little. I do a little bit of this to warm up my side, just don't follow the pole stage. A couple of sexy body rolls or whatever I feel like that day. So yeah, just dance a little around to warm up. And now, if you guys thought that we're not gonna stretch before Bird of Paradise, you were wrong. Stretching is like number one thing before we even attempt it. Use this pose for a quick stretch for Bird of Paradise if you are relatively flexible. If not, you need to warm up these four areas. Hamstring, side of your body, upper back, and your shoulders that take the majority of the weight in this move. This pose right here helps to stretch all of those areas, all at once. If you are less flexible, you need to do those exercises on a daily basis to improve the range of your flexibility in order for you to get the bird of paradise. Okay, and now let's do it. I go from the inside leg hang, from here I wrap my elbow around the pole, I do a quick leg switch like this, I drop my leg and catch it with my arm and here is the little trick, you need to catch it under your knee because that's where the distance is the shortest. Another trick is to loosen up your leg hook just a little bit. It allows your body to drop. Look how collapsed my back is here. That's because I released of my leg hook. And now it's much easier to connect my hands because there's just less distance between them. Another trick to make the entry into Bird of Paradise extremely fluid and to cover up how much you struggle <laughs> to connect those hands is to release the leg all together because we don't really need that hook anymore when our body is wrapped tightly around the pole. Our grip is in our um, shoulder and our back and not in your leg hook or hands. And now let's talk about the finesse. Watch out for these common errors such as non-pointed ankles. I mean we've been told to point our toes but nobody <laughs> tells us to point our ankles but that's what we need to do otherwise we end up with this weird looking line I, I think we all agree that it just looks terrible also micro bands look at my leg kind of look a little bit ugly I mean nobody's gonna probably pay attention to it in a, in the local competition but if you were to go to ISPF they would totally give you a deduction for this Ooh, another one non-pointed ankle it's really hard to point it in this position specifically, but we can do it. Okay, to recap, number one, warm up the proper areas of your body before going on the pole. Number two, let your leg hook loose. Number three, allow your body to drop so the distance between your hands will be smaller and your grip will be much more secure. The grip is in the side of your body, so that's why you're allowing it to drop, twisting it around the pole. Four, watch out for small details like micro bands, especially in the extended leg and for loose ankles to make it look beautiful and pretty. Like this video if it was helpful, subscribe to my channel, uh, follow me on Instagram. Bye!